What's the difference between male feminists and neutered dogs? The neutered dog has more balls. How to identify a shithole? Can you criticize the dominant religion or ideology of the place you live in without worrying about retribution and possibly death? If no, you're in a shithole. Modern psychological operations. Rebrand, quote, slut as, quote, open-minded. Rebrand, quote, aimless and hedonistic as, quote, hippie. Rebrand, quote, fat as, quote, healthy. Rebrand, quote, anti-women and anti-men propaganda, end quote, as, quote, feminism. Rebrand, quote, purposelessness as, quote, boredom. Rebrand, quote, consumption with, quote, fulfillment. Fat is beautiful. Eat all the candy you want, fat or thin. You're all the same. Anyone who says otherwise is fat-shaming. There's nothing wrong with being fat. This tweet has been sponsored by your local Insulin Manufacturers Association. Feminists are important for one important reason. They purify the gene pool. They marry low testosterone men and have zero to one children. Two birds, one stone. This is natural selection. Be ruthless when dealing with weakness in yourself but be kind when dealing with yourself. Few can handle the contradiction. A society's art and architecture is a representation of its soul. If someone fucks you over once, they'll fuck you over again if you give them that chance. You deserve it. Bad times build resilience and character. Good times reveal resilience and character. Character has to be earned. People who have had, always, an easy time, in brackets, i.e. never worked hard, end brackets, are much more likely to be mentally weak and characterless. The greatest form of self-sabotage is when people tell themselves lies, that they know are lies, fully aware that it is going to hurt them over the long run, just because it gives them some momentary comfort. The problem is that often people only see the pain of the journey, not the gains of the journey. For example, some people don't read because, quote, reading is boring. They don't realize that the rewards are disproportionate. If you can pay one dollar to get a hundred dollars, take it. Don't look for good and bad. Morals are too subjective and are often used to mislead you. Look for circumstances and incentives. Arrive at the conclusions yourself. Most do what they've been told. Few venture into the unknown. 1% of all humans are responsible for 80 to 99% of all human progress. If it wasn't for those 1%, many reading this would still be uneducated farmers. I've gotten to the point that I can no longer comment on outrage and BS news articles because I'll only be giving them free clicks. That's what they want in the first place. Get mad, share that article, drive even more users to click, and make them some ad money. I feel bad for people whose identities can be defined by their political views, eating preferences, and gender orientation. If my identity was that small, I too would constantly rage and jump to express it. It's like living in a prison. The energy needs to go out somewhere. The masses, in brackets as a whole, like to believe they want truth, but they hear truth they attack it and those who speak it. Most people actually want a comfortable lie that's good enough to be believable. The king shall lose no time when the opportunity waited for arrives.